This tutorial shows you how to calculate the minimum required sample size for the Crystal Wallace test with GPower. When we start GPower, we get this overview by default. We now need to select the Crystal Wallace test first. Even though it is not implemented in GPower, we can work around this by using the one way ANOVA. It is the parametric alternative and provides a rough but sufficient estimate. Selected via tests, means, many groups, ANOVA one way. Now you have to select the type of power analysis. Since you have to calculate the minimum required sample size in advance, you have to select a priori. The first input parameter needed is the effect size f. The conventions for the behavioral sciences 0 0.1, 0 0.25 and 0.4 for small, medium and large effect sizes are shown as a tooltip and are taken from Cohen 92 a power primer. If you have research field specific thresholds though, or preliminary or comparable studies, use those instead. You can calculate f from the more common effect size eta squared of the crystal wallace test and vice versa. Use the following formulas taken from Cohen 88, page 281 and 284 respectively. The second input parameter is the alpha error probability, which is the probability of committing a type 1 error. In short, this is the probability of wrongly rejecting the null hypothesis. 5% is the typical convention, 1% is a bit more restrictive. A value above 5% should be avoided though. The third input parameter is power. Power equals 1 minus the beta error probability. Beta error is the type 2 error. In short, this means falsely retaining the null hypothesis. 95% power is typical, meaning you have up to 5% type 2 error probability. In some research fields, 0.8 is used here. This means you automatically accept a type 2 error of up to 20%. If you have power lower than 0.95, this calls for a reasonable justification. The fourth and final input parameter is the number of groups. This should be pretty obvious. If you have one control group and let's say two different intervention groups, you have a total of three groups. Finally, hit calculate to see the minimum number of observations needed to detect the presumed statistical effect with the predefined type 1 error probability and power. As a rule of thumb, a smaller effect size and a larger power require more observations than the other way around.